Hello, Aaron Vammer, Pioneer Field Agronomist here in Northeast Colorado. I'm here today by Eaton, Colorado. And as you can see, I'm out here in a field of corn that doesn't look so good. Uh, when I first pulled up to the field, I would have bet you money that this was gonna be a nematode spot. Uh, all the, the characteristics of this spot sure scream nematode, but once I started digging up some plants and checking the roots, I quickly found garden symphylans. I've run into a few fields with these symphylas this year, and what I've found is that they're really favoring uh, heavy, heavy soil with fine texture, uh, soil with high organic matter. If it's had a heavy manure history, uh, we're seeing the symphylas more present in that type of ground. Symphylas are little white arthropods. They look just like a centipede. In fact, they're also called a garden centipede. Uh, as a full-grown adult, they can be an eighth to a quarter inch in length. Uh, as far as the life cycle goes, they overwinter in the soil as, a, as an egg, and then they hatch out in the spring. Uh, it takes about oh, a month and a half to two months for that, that uh, symphyla to progress from an egg to adult. And once they are an adult, they can persist in the soil all throughout the season. So uh, management is definitely going to be key. Some management options include uh, counter, probably being the best. Uh, I've seen up here in Colorado this year, um, especially the front range of Colorado uh, where we've had the problems. If counter was applied, we don't have any issues. Counter seems to be a very good control method for uh, garden symphylin. Um, a couple of fields I've been in, the grower ran out of uh, counter and right where they ran out of the counter, that's where we started seeing the symphylin issues. What makes the symphyla very hard to control is that they're very sporadic uh, as far as their activity goes. Uh, a couple of the fields I've been in this year, the, there was really bad pressure in one part of the field, so the grower made sure to get counter in that portion, but then they didn't necessarily apply it to the whole field. And then right there in the portions where that counter wasn't applied is where we saw the problems this, the, the following year. Other than counter, we're kind of limited as far as our management options. Uh, crop rotation doesn't really help a whole lot since they have such a wide range of hosts. These symphylas will feed not only on corn, we'll also see them on sugar beets and alfalfa. Uh, they can really just decimate the root system on a whole lot of crops. The only other real effective management tool for symphylas seems to be tillage. Tillage helps to reduce populations uh, in these, these high organic matter fields. Symphyla are able to travel up and down in the soil profile, uh, about three feet below the soil surface. So a rescue treatment isn't very effective as far as insecticides go. So really, I mean, we're limited to our counter and tillage uh, in a corn crop. To look for the presence of symphyla in fields, what I do is I go to one of these bad looking spots and I try to find some of the worst plants I can find and I dig those up and those symphylas are going to be right around the root system on this plant. So what you want to do is make sure you dig that plant up, keep as much soil around it as you can, and you'll basically just start breaking this root or the, the soil around the root apart, around that root system. So I was able to locate a symphyla. He's that little guy right there, that little white centipede crawling around there in my hand. And these are very quick, they're daylight sensitive, they do not like seeing the sunshine, so as you can see, he's trying to crawl underneath the soil there in my hand. So just to give you a size reference, I mean, he's, he's maybe, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. The, he's small and quick, so they're hard to, de hard to detect. So uh, that's what you're looking for right there. Here are a few of the plants that I dug up today. As you can see, those symphylins really cause a lot of damage on developing corn roots. If you have any more questions in regards to garden symphylin, please reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep. I appreciate your time and have a good rest of your week. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.